In this video lesson, we're going to remove everything we've created so far on our machine that has to deal with LVM. So we have our volume group, pseudo VGS. We're going to remove this volume group. We're also going to remove pseudo LVS, the logical volumes that we have. And we're also going to remove pseudo PVS, our physical volumes that we have with LVM. To start off with, I'm going to remove a volume that's a nice easy volume to remove. That would be SDE. This one is currently not being used by any logical volumes. So to remove this, I can simply run sudo vg reduce, and this is going to reduce rather than extend my volume. And this is going to bring down my volume based on whatever I tell it to reduce it by. So I need to tell it which volume group I'm going to use, which is my data dash vg, and then tell it which drive to remove dev sd echo. So it's going to reduce the volume group size by that drive. If I hit enter, my volume dev SDE has now been removed from the volume group. So if I run sudo vgs, I only have three physical volumes now. I'm one shy. All right, I'm going to try one a little bit harder now. Dev SDB is the one that contains my logical volumes. So if I tried to do the same command, but with SD B, I'm going to run into a little bit of a problem, and that's because it is currently active with logical volumes that are currently running. So it's not going to allow me to just remove that physical volume. What I can do is I can transfer over all of the data that's on the extents of SDB over to another drive. So I currently have, let's see, sudo pvs. I currently have SDB, C, and D. Actually, actually, I have SDC and D available to move the data to. SDE no longer belongs to this volume group, but it does show up here on the PVS command. So I want to transfer all of the data from SDB to another drive. To do that, I can run sudo PV, PV move and tell it which drive to move the data off of, which would be dev SDB. Now, if I hit the command and hit enter now, it's going to go ahead and move it to the next available drive, which in our case is going to be dev SDC. I can also tell it to do or place it on dev SDD. So I can be a little bit more specific and tell it where to move it to. Let me go ahead and run this. It's going to take just a moment to go through this one gig drive and move all the physical extents over. But once it's done, dev SDB is going to be free and available to be removed. So this is a great way to, if you've got a system already set up with logical volumes and you have additional hard drives that you move into it, but you need to remove maybe a hard drive because it's aging or possibly failing, this is a great way to put a new drive in and move your data off of that drive to be able to remove it from the actual volume group itself. So I can see now here that I'm at 100%. In just a moment, my terminal prompt will come back and then I can continue removing it from my volume group. Okay, so let's go ahead now and remove it. sudo vg reduce to, redu to reduce my volume group by the drive dev sdb. Oops, I forgot to tell it which volume group this is going to belong to. Here we go, we've now removed dev sdb. Let's find out what happened to my actual data. So sudo vg display dash v. And if I take a look at my volume groups, here's are my logical volumes. Here's logical volume volume one. I can see all of my data has been moved to the physical volume SDD. As you can see here, SDC has all 255 extents free, but SDD has 255 total, but only 64 free, which is what we had originally with dev SDB. So everything has been moved over to this new drive. All right, I can go ahead and remove also logical volumes. So let me go ahead and remove some of the logical volumes to see what happens. sudo lv remove, and let's go ahead and remove my data dash vg, and then we're going to go ahead and tell it which of these logical volumes from my volume group. That'll be volume, let's do volume 2, lv. It asks me if I want to discard it because it is an active logical volume that's being used. 
I can go ahead and hit Y. And now that logic of volume has been removed from my system. So if I run sudo vgs, you can see that I have still two physical volumes, but my logic of volume has been removed. Now I can also remove the entire volume group. And I still have two physical volumes left here and a logical volume. But when I remove the volume group or destroy the volume group, it's going to go ahead and also remove the data for those. So let's go ahead and do that. sudo vg remove my data dash vg. That's the name of my volume group. It's asking me if I really want to remove the logical volume that I have left. I can say yes. It's asking me if I want to discard. I'm going to say yes. All right. Now that's all been removed. So if I run sudo vgs, I have nothing. If I have sudo lvs, I have nothing. If I run sudo pvs, should be able to see my physical volumes, dev, sdb, c, d, and e, but they do not belong to any volume group. One last thing to clean things up. If I run sudo lsblk dash f, I will see that each one of my hard drives still have that label that tells me that it's been converted over to a physical volume. What I want to do is remove that label. So if I go ahead and run sudo pv remove dev sdb, that will strip that label from it. Now if I run the lsblk dash f, you can see sdb no longer has that label. And if I run sudo pvs, you can see SDB is no longer in this group. So to do all of them, PV remove, I can go ahead and say slash dev SD, and let's use a shortcut here. We're gonna do C through E. All right, sudo PVS. I have no more physical volumes, and let's run LSB okay, and I no longer have Let's run that with a dash F. No longer have any of those file system type labels associated with the drives. So we've completely cleaned up our computer from the volume group with the logical volumes and the physical volumes. All right, in the next lesson, we're gonna go to another section and we're gonna look at increasing our logical volume. So I'm gonna run through creating a logical volume within a volume group and then being able to add our hard drives. But when we had our hard drives, we're gonna look at extending the logical volumes to include more space and use up the hard drives that we've added to the volume group.